my name is Clarissa Burquez and I'm here for Rick and Live doing an interview with Laura from Laura's Boutique. So Laura, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you started Laura's Boutique. So what started off in my mom's thrift store, she had a thrift store like two or three stores down from this one. Um, she used to go to yard sales and then just resell stuff like so she bought a toy, she would wash it and then just resell it. I was working at Kohl's at the time. I like to be on my own schedule and stuff, so I was like, I have to do something about it. I can't just keep not earning money. So I had like $700 left in my bank account, and I was like, I have, I'm gonna go and do something. And I went to where I buy my clothes now, and I bought literally probably like four to five things. And I filled up a little wall, probably half the size of the one behind us. And I got home, I put everything on Instagram, I took pictures of it and I, by the next day I already had my first customers. So what are some key factors to the success of Laura's Boutique? I know you mentioned Instagram. Instagram for sure. I, we owe our life to Instagram. That's where we started. Um, Instagram is just keeping up with the trends, of course, and keeping up with the social media um, things that are changing. Because I know we now we have Snapchat, Instagram mm -hmm. Live and stuff. And it gets hard to keep up with all of them, but it's like, Posting it on all of them is what gets you in, Twitter, everything. Also, keeping up with your customers and seeing what they want and what they like and how they're feeling about stuff. Because of them is why we're here, the customers, so we try to put customer service at the top of the list for everything. How would you describe the style for Laura's Boutique? I think picking one style is probably really hard. We try to be very um, diverse. I am the buyer and some of the stuff that I do bring in, some I wouldn't wear. It's like super hard to pick one style because I feel like we try to go above and beyond to try to match every person out there. How is being a mom and a business owner? It's so crazy. It's, it's definitely really, really hard because um, people don't understand like, oh, like she's working so hard, but she doesn't give attention to her son. I'm like, I'm working so hard because of him, you know, like I want him to have everything that he's ever wanted, but work for it, of course. But it is very, very hard to have a baby. Um, I wouldn't change for the world. So do you have any advice that you can give somebody looking to start their own business? Definitely do what you love. Don't just start something because you see someone else doing it. You can start whatever you want. If it's your passion, please go for it. Because I'm telling you, if I could do it, anyone can do it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Laura, for your time. And be sure to check out all of our social media links.